Good morning. It is December 20th, 2023. It is the day that the Lord hath made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. I can't believe Christmas is almost here. It's an exciting time. Um, it's a time to be thankful to the Lord for the greatest gift, which is Jesus Christ. To know that your sins can be forgiven. See, you may try to forget your sins, but forgetting your sins is a whole lot different than being forgiven for your sins. See, God forgives us of our sins. It's not just forgetting, it's forgiven. I think a lot of times we have a hard time forgiving ourselves. We'll ask the Lord, to forgive us, but then we don't want to forgive ourselves. And we carry a burden that Jesus already took. So remember that this Christmas. If you've asked the Lord to forgive you of your sins, know that He has. They're gone. They're no longer there. They may be in your memories. But as far as the penalty for that sin, it is gone. I know many a times I'll think of things that I used to do. And I don't say, Lord, forgive me for those things because I've already asked for forgiveness. But I take that opportunity of saying, Lord, I thank you so much for your mercy and your grace upon my life. For forgiving me for the things that I did, the dumb things that I did. And I use it for a time to thank Him. To just encourage myself in the Lord. Not to burden myself down. Oh, what a horrible part. No. Jesus came to give us life and to give us life abundantly. You've tuned in to Matt and Randy in the morning. We are here to encourage you in the Word so that you can be strong in the faith and live victoriously in Christ. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, as we get into your Word, May we be able to rejoice in your mercies. In Jesus' name, amen. I, I was listening to Ephesians chapter 2, and it just, it caught me this morning. So, I'm calling this Christmas Mercy. Ephesians 2 says this, and 1 through 9 is what I'm reading. And you he made alive, who were dead in trespasses and sin, in which once you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience, among whom also we all once conducted ourselves in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, just as others. But God... Oh, that wonderful little word, but God, those two words. Listen to this, who is rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us. Do you get that? Great love with which he loved us. That means great love in which he loves you. Even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ by grace you have been saved and raised us up together and made us sit in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith and that not of yourselves there is nothing you can do to earn God's salvation. It says, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. There is no greater gift this Christmas than that. Jesus, the mercies of God toward his children. We truly have a reason to rejoice. I had much more, but I feel that that's where I need to stop. God loves you. Think of his mercy. Think of his grace. His love towards you. There is nothing you can have done or can do 
that would cause God to love you less? If you accept Jesus Christ to be Lord and Savior of your life, you truly can be born again. You don't have to know this Bible to accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. Hear the birds sing. See the sunrise. See the sunset. Hear the waves of the ocean. Hear the wind rustling through the trees. Those are all God's mercies, God's love, God's grace. God created this earth for us to enjoy. Adam sinned. Adam and Eve sinned. Sin came into the world. Caused separation between us and God. But then Jesus came to unite us back to God Almighty, our Heavenly Father. In this earth, there's nothing we can do to earn salvation. Our, the greatest, most righteous person that someone may look at and say, oh, wow, that's all right, is as filthy rags before the Lord. But Christ, that's different. Just as Adam was created by God, Adam was not born of man's seed. Adam was of God. Well, Jesus was born from a virgin. Holy. No sin nature. But he was crucified for our sins. For the redemption of mankind. That is what Christmas is about. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Seek God, call out to him, and he will reveal himself to you. Whether you have a Bible or not, the Spirit of God will begin to work in your life and draw you closer and closer to God Almighty. Worship the God who loves you so dearly, the God full of mercy and grace. And then you'll be able to do what Philippians 4 says. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. We'll see you tomorrow morning.